The one thing that we have come to understand in this career is that when someone um, decides to become a police officer, it's not just them, it's their family, it's their spouse, it's their significant other that also becomes a police officer as well and becomes a part of that family. It's just something I always wanted to do from a young age. I originally went to college for equine science. I had never even once thought about law enforcement. And then I saw the academy recruits and the dedication that they had, the discipline that they had. And I thought, man, I want to do that. I want to be that. I came into law enforcement because I wanted to help people, which is a very blase answer, but it's so true. I always thought it would be a rewarding career. It would be uh, giving me an opportunity to be a role model while at the same time giving back to the community. We are extremely fortunate here that our city administration and our council understand that training is a major component of how the city or the department responds. So we have huge opportunities for training, not just internally, but externally. We have the largest external training budget out of all the agencies in this region. We're a very diverse organization. Being a department of our size, you have a lot of opportunities at horizontal movement, such as our task force positions, some of our specialized positions like canine, tactical unit, and those various positions. There are so many different avenues where you can take your career and not just patrol. You can be a detective, you can be a school resource officer, you can be a canine officer. It allows them the opportunity to really expand um, their horizon, especially when it comes to career law enforcement. Westerville's a, a great community. There's a lot of uh, great people around here. We have a lot of support um, from the community. No matter where we go, they go out of their way to contact us and let us know how much they really appreciate us, which is just, it's amazing. That's what we're all about, our community service. We do the traditional side of policing extremely well, but we're also well known, not just statewide or regionally, but nationally, for our community outreach programs that we have. For example, as you'll see Cops and Kids Day, we have between 13 and 16,000 people attend that. It's a one-day event that we sponsor each year. I love the community support in Westerville, um, and in my position I've gotten to participate in a lot of community engagement programs such as the Explorer Program, the Youth Police Academy, National Night Out, and it's great to interact with the residents, particularly on a non-enforcement level. For a lot of agencies, community-oriented policing is something that they have to work at. In Westerville, it seems to be naturally occurring, and to me that's critical in solving crimes. I'm not only a police officer, but I'm an educator, I'm a mentor, a counselor, and it's important for me to be a good role model, especially for young girls who, who look up to me. There's a new philosophy in policing. Uh, for a long time, it was 100% warrior. And the new philosophy is that very delicate balance between warrior and guardian. And those are the kind of people we look for. You have to have that mentality that if I'm protecting someone, you have to have the ability to protect. We want people that can not only recognize what their responsibility is, they can also fulfill that role. I talk to them about discipline, respect, uh, service to the community, what it actually is like to be a public servant, um, because those are the traits that we're looking for uh, when we go to hire someone. We want someone who is, has dedicated their life to community service. If you have it, something inside of you that just really wants to reach out and help people, then this is the career that you want to get involved in because you can actually see satisfaction every day when you know that you've helped people.